Hi guys, in this video I'll be discussing plant defences, physical defences, chemical defences, mechanical defences, and finally a summary. Unlike animals, plants are stationary most of the time. This means that it can't run or escape from predators. This means that plants have to be well adapted to avoiding pests. For example, animals or insects. They also have to be well adapted to avoiding pathogens. They do this through several different types of defense response. And these are physical defenses, so a waxy cuticle, a cellulo cell wall, and dead cells surrounding the plant. They also have chemical defenses. For example, plants can produce antiseptics, and these kill bacterial pathogens, or they can also produce traps. These can trap animals or insects. Plants can also produce poison. Plants can also have mechanical defences, such as thorns, and we'll discuss this later on in the video. As I said before, plants have physical defences to protect against pests and pathogens. Physical defences prevent pathogens from getting into plants. Plants have several features which act as barriers. For example, plants have a tough waxy cuticle on leaves and stems. And this is a waxy cuticle. The waxy cuticle covers the epidermal cells on most parts of the plant that are above ground. It prevents water loss in the plant, but it also prevents pathogens from reaching the epidermal layer of the plant. This reduces infection. Plants can either have a thick waxy cuticle or a thin waxy cuticle. As I said before, the waxy cuticle prevents water loss, but it also avoids water from collecting on leaves. This protects against pathogens which are spread in water. Particularly, it prevents against fungal pathogens. Most of these require standing water for spore germination. Cells also have a cellulose cell wall. This prevents pathogens from getting into the cells. And this is a cellulose cell wall. Cellulose cell walls are excellent barriers. Plants can have primary and secondary cell walls. The primary cell wall is made up mostly of cellulose and that gives the cell strength and flexibility because the fibres of the cellulose are cross-linked with other substances such as pectin. Many cells also have another cell wall and that develops inside the primary cell wall and this forms another barrier. Cell walls can also contain chemicals which are activated with the presence of pathogens and help prevent against pathogens entering the cell. Another physical defence is that plants also have layers of dead cells around the stems. These act as barriers. For example, the bark of a tree. As pathogens can't enter dead cells, this prevents against infection. As well as physical defences, plants can also have chemical defences. This is when plants secrete substances that kill microorganisms and prevent damage by pests. These responses are chemical defences. For example, these substances can be compounds that kill bacteria and or fungi. These are called antiseptics. They can also be insect repellents. For example, mint produces antiseptics. These kill bacteria. Plants can also produce traps. These are insect repellents. One example is the resin from pine. Plants can also produce antifungal compounds, such as caffeine. Caffeine is toxic to both fungi and insects. Plants can also produce poisons to deter pests. For example, nicotine from the tobacco plant is a neurotoxin. They specifically kill insects. Plants like foxglove produce something called digoxin, and this is a toxic compound. However, luckily for us, these chemicals can be really useful for treating or relieving symptoms of human diseases. For example, the mint can stop nausea. The digoxin from foxgloves can also be used to treat heart conditions. The bark and leaves of willow trees is used to make aspirin. This is used to treat fever and illness, as well as being a pain reliever. Some plants also have mechanical defences. These are features which defend against pathogens and pests without acting as a barrier. For example, let's think of a rose. 
Rose plants have thorns or hairs that prevent them from being eaten or touched by animals, and these thorns might damage the insects or animals. Cacti also have spikes. This prevents them from being eaten. Another example of a mechanical defence are plants have leaves which actually droop or curl when being touched. This can knock insects off themselves and help them move away from things. There are also some very clever plants which mimic other organisms or non-living things to trick pests. For example, the passion flower has bright yellow spots on its leaves. These look like butterfly eggs and this prevents other butterflies from laying their eggs on this leaf. Some plants, such as ice plants, found in Africa, look a bit like stones or pebbles. This tricks animals and pests into not eating them. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're looking for an amazing GCC biology and combined science resource, join me today in my series of engaging bite-sized video tutorials. Just click the snap revised smiley face and together let's make biology at GCSE a walk in the park.